We also need to cover a unilateral or tangential zygomatic arch. So just one side, uh, and the positioning is a little challenging. Uh, it sometimes is difficult if you, you can mix up which way do you need to adjust their head because we're going to intentionally rotate and we're going to intentionally tilt. I can start off with a 72 inch SID and I've pre-collimated to not much bigger than an index card. We only need one tiny little zygomatic arch, so you don't need a giant field to do this. Central ray is going to go about one inch posterior to the outer canthus, but you can also frame this anatomy being able to see projections of the patient's cheekbone and where their EAM is. Okay, you're going to have your patient in an SMV with a head all the way back against the bucky. Kind of offset my patient. We're going to do the right arch, so I don't want to start with the patient in the center. Go ahead and bring your head all the way back, please. So the top of your head's against the board. So shift your hips forward just like that. That makes it easier for your patient. So we want chin lining up with forehead. We're going to raise your the back of your head a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to shift you over a little bit more to the left. So we're going to rotate 15 degrees toward the side of interest. All that's doing is aligning the zygomatic arches from kind of this orientation to just straight up and down. So if we turn your head to the right, that lines up the arch. Then we're going to intentionally introduce tilt. So there's the tricky part. The tilt is always in relation to the top of the head. So in this case, we're going to bring the chin, patient's chin, toward the side that you're shooting. The top of the head is going to move away from the side you're shooting. And it's not much. It's only 15 degrees. It's really easy to overdo this, which is going to close off the arch. You are essentially lining up the mandible with the skull on your radiograph, and that opens up the arch very nicely. So I'm going to adjust my centering here. I can see my patient's cheekbone on the shadow here. And for the EAM, you can look for the shadow of your finger. You can open it up. You don't have to put your finger in your patient's ear. Please don't do that. I'm just opening this up to show that I have light going down to the EAM, which means definitely all of the arches included. Just want to make sure you're not having your marker in the anatomy. Okay. Just don't move, don't breathe, and then make your exposure. 